Any, anybody else have the pleasure of getting a new water heater besides me? No. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, Carolyn, I'm you very, should find him for that. I'm very excited with <laughs> yeah, you. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, find, find the guy that probably just dished out a fortune for a yeah. new water heater. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens. The injury. If you go to Hawaii yeah. to golf, you get fined for that. Jeff. Don't you just love your new water heater, though? Yeah. Oh, I do. It doesn't leak. <laughs> Is that how you found out about it? You went into the garage uh, yes, and it was spring? The, I went into the garage, as I use, often do, and then one, wondered why I went out there, which I often do, and <laughs> noticed that there was a little moisture on the pavement. And so... Uh -huh. uh, but that was the good news. That was early in the evening. It wasn't like the next morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Ed, my water heater has always been uh, thoughtful enough to break down right before a holiday. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, Ed, I just replaced three water heaters. <laughs> so, Fine. all within a couple own, months. <laughs> all in your own house? Uh, two in my main house and one in my cabin. Uh, oh, wow. Oh. But they were all old, you know, over 19 years, so. Yeah, I just did the air conditioner and the pool heater. Ooh. Ah. But did you do tankless or regular water heaters? Cherry. Regular. Regular. Yeah. Regular. Yeah. We replaced ours earlier this year. It's regular also. <laughs> <laughs> well, we better to do it before you walk out in your garage and uh, have water flowing yeah. all the way through and then it's a much bigger project speaking from experience yeah so sherry i'm impressed you have two water haters in your house water yeah. heaters in your house is that and one a spare or backup heater uh, or? no it's weird the house is really really linear so there's one back in the you know bedroom where all the bathroom the main bathrooms are and then there's another one for the kitchen oh huh. yeah I, I have two as well so ah Two yeah. air conditioners, too. I want to welcome yeah. Goud, who just uh, came in. Hi, Goud. Hey, Goud. Hi, Goud. 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 Can I, I see Hank? Hi, Hank. Hank. Have a... house, uh, so, Hank, in the come on. Kitchen and heater in the, <laughs> in the back where the bathrooms are. Yeah. I for a place of water heater, uh, I guess that maybe it was last month, six weeks ago in a rental home and it was replaced, updated, and there's some kind of a rod, and I'm not remembering the technical details with this, that, that's in the water heater. Well, that Anode. reacted to the water in Livermore and caused a lot of air, so it was more than settling and... Uh, the plumbers realized that that was a new issue because it was just it was just a chemical reaction, and they had to come in and take that rod out and replace it with a different uh, rod made of a di different composition. Oh. Sounds like chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, materials engineering and chemistry. Hey, Bob, you could tell us about yeah. that. Yeah, or Sherry. Could if I had it. <laughs> Sherry, what would be in the water? <laughs> Could be a lot of salt. I don't know. That rod is a sacrificial magnesium rod, so the rest of the plumbing doesn't corrode. Yeah. And it only lasts about six or so years, six, seven years. And if you don't replace it, your water heater corrodes. <laughs> Dennis, can you can I put that in this have that put in the spur? That is a that I did not know that. Sure. <laughs> Sacrificial magnesium notes. rod. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. I, I, in my junior year of college, I spent a, a whole summer installing those along a pipeline so that the, uh, yeah. the these devices that you're talking about would corrode instead of the pipeline. It's very yeah. effective. Were those zincs? Yeah, zinc rods. Yeah, yeah. usually zinc or magnesium. Well, I just want to welcome Jill who just joined us I and, uh, hey, she Jill. actually could answer some of these questions about why water heaters are failing now and then in Livermore a little more <laughs> often than others well we're not all on zone seven <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a hard one to answer because the water quality varies 
throughout the area. And uh, Kathy's point is very valid. Some of you right. get well water directly from Cal water. Some of you get water from our treatment plant. Others get water from zone sevens wells. Um, and the water quality is a little different. The mineral content's a little different in each case. Um, and yes, the larger pipelines for the most part have some kind of cathodic protection. I heard the tail end of that discussion. Uh, so there are definitely sacrificial anodes along the way on the, the biggest of the pipelines. Um, so I cut me in in the middle. That's the best I can do. Well, thank you, Jill. Actually, that was a very good explanation. Yeah. yeah. On the uh, submarine way back when, uh, we had a zinc that had not been replaced and it blew out of a heat exchanger. And let me tell you, a half inch hole at 300 feet depth is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I would have used Everybody a different word for that. Right yeah, now. impressive will work. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the time I had other words. <laughs> so. so did you have to surface right away? Oh no, we we Take fixed it. Off. Oh wow! You don't surface for just a half inch blow. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's impressive. Uh, yeah. there are these things in there are these things in the uh, engineering maneuvering area called chicken switches, and if you have a good idea where the leak's coming from, you reach into the overhead, flip the switch. <laughs> and it shuts off seawater to that particular part of the engine room and that worked. So, uh, <laughs> and sometimes you hit them and sometimes you don't. <laughs> Must have a lot of the plastic sealer on board, right? Uh, duct tape. <laughs> duct tape, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and replacement zincs. <laughs> yeah. What is it, that miracle spray that, uh, you know, you can, Float your fishing boat with with a screen door. <laughs> That's right. Dull regard is yeah. <laughs> we didn't we didn't have that on the submarine. It probably gave off too many volatile organic uh, fumes. So yeah, on the teams, all we carried was duct tape. It wasn't that was your medical tape. That was your mm -hmm. weapon repair tape. That was your secure things that yeah. go boom. It was just that's all we carried. <laughs> I, I can see a program coming about Joel's life on the submarine. 